Soldiers, we are almost at the finish line. Thank God. We are almost at the finish line with this Shane Dawson Jake Paul series. Oh my God. It has been the longest experience of my entire life. And I don't know how people were waiting episode by episode for this in the moment because they had to have been weeks in between thinking that the next episode was going to be the last episode, and then you realize there's another 10 episodes. Holy shit, there's 8 episodes, but we're on episode 7. We're almost on soldiers. We're almost, almost there. We, we're too deep in it to give up now. We've got it. We've got it. Also, please go over and subscribe to my second channel. I promise you, you'll be a little bit more entertained than by the following Jake Paul video over here. Daily vlogging over there will be pinned down below. Go check it out. Let's get in. This one's called The Ex-Girlfriend of Jake Paul. Apparently, this one is very drama-filled they better provide it. Let's get into it. Almost a million likes and 20 million views. Woo! Shane Dawson is coming over tomorrow. I'm just gonna tell my side of like my life and what my past has done to me. And oh my God, this just got so weird. Fuck, man, I really don't wanna talk about this stuff. Just shade involved in 20 year old drama. 20 year olds drama. Hello. <laughs> okay. Uh, say hi to Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> that was not who I was expecting to be on the phone. <laughs> that was not who I was expecting to be on the phone. I was expecting like Jake or something. That was crazy. <laughs> okay, Keen. How do you deal with all this drama and not go crazy yourself? Confirmed! That's it! It's finished! Judge and jury! Boom! Uh, I don't know, for some reason, like, I love it, like, I, I live for it, right? Alyssa Violet is telling her story to Shane. I cannot wait. I don't know what that says about me, but I'm obsessed with it. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, listen, Logan and Jake came into YouTube, drama, like all of that, right? Then it went too far, you know? Right. I think the biggest problem, Shane, is that most YouTubers are attention seekers. Like, it just, we, we want attention, we thrive off of it. And the best way to get attention and to especially get new people to pay attention is drama, right? Only two ways. Oh my God, I need them to stop with the jump scare music. Motivation to be involved in drama so everybody was talking about that. Basically, anything I do now gets picked up in the press. And like, that's is this like, H3? So successful because of all the drama. Is that H3? Do I recognize that studio? I think as a drama channel yourself, it was. you feel like it's just, it's gone too far to a point where it's not even that fun anymore. Like, yeah, it's, it's got so goddamn ugly. Someone shot yesterday at our house. Melissa's face is all f***ed up. Some of the stuff I heard about yesterday off camera, everybody has blackmail. Everybody has secret recordings and secret... Doesn't he and Jeffrey do that on people? Secret recordings of people and blackmail? Isn't that why him and Jeffrey got exposed? Please. Please. You know, secret documents and all these things, and they all kind of hold it over each other's heads. And... That's what they did to James. And I don't like James. But that's what they did to James and Taddy and all the other ones. I don't like James, but, like, that's what they did. To shut everybody up. And it's on all sides, right? No, that's 100% true. I know that to be 100% true. Yeah. Because, Shane, people come to me and they want me to expose secret recordings and stuff of other people. And I have to say to them, I'm like, dude, I'm not an exposed channel. If you put it out there, I'll report it because it's public, but I'm not going to do your dirty work. Yeah. You know? What do you think is going to happen, like, a year from now, two years from now? This generation of 2017, the Jake Paul, the Logan Paul, um, even, like, the Rice Gum and, and Face Banks and this whole beef, right? I'm not gonna make a comment about Lil Tay. YouTubers, how to be Topical. Mm. And Shane, you've been a YouTuber for 10 years, all right? What's up, you guys? All right, special announcement. If you made a ton of money, it was almost shameful if you plugged your own merch. Shane Dawson shirts. <laughs> like, you would get disliked. I'm literally about to cry out of fear. It's up to you. Yeah. We're in a completely different world now where selling out and, you know, being obnoxious and being a shitty person is being reward, rewarded. Don't do this at home. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're in territory that I've never seen before. Is there anything specifically, like, don't mention or ask him about people are gonna give me shit and say, oh, you were too easy on me. I wanna know why he never removed the video where the assistant claimed that, you know, she was beaten by face banks. Like, that was, like, proven, like, 100% proven that face banks was innocent. Mm. And he never removed the video. Because everyone knows he's wrong in that situation. Because why not take it down? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so they were lying about abuse? Ah! You have the professional people go in and like look at him 
I already told Erica, and she was happy about it because um, she was like, I think he needs therapist. <laughs> so like, it kind of worked. Um, I think we all do. Fuck. Yeah. Did you talk to Erica? Going from Keem to Katie is crazy. She just went up. Oh my god! Can we stop with these songs? I literally mute it whenever we do these songs. Song recently, and like the whole basis of the song, if I can remember correctly, is uh, I'm not gonna hurt you like she hurt you. Yeah, I don't care to hear any of these songs. It's not even about copyright, it's just my mental state. Keemstar listening to these songs written and signed, or not even written by by 20 year olds and going, wow, that's deep. Whoa, that line's crazy. <laughs> he goes, I can feel the emotion. She's singing about Jake. Keem, pick yourself up. You know, she's talking about Alyssa Violet. Shane, you're pissing me off with how much you're putting this song. Wow, Keem's like, that's a great song. It's crazy. If he pisses in one more time, I'm going to fucking scream. Jake is running around thinking that Erica's going to cheat on him and, like, really insecure. You scared of me. Oh, my God. You scared of me living. I think the Alyssa and Logan thing fucked Jake up on a level I don't think he knew he could. Whoa, I want to do that. Um, I agree. It, I think it, it is okay, so if I'm sounding correct, because I really didn't care about their drama, nor did I care about Jake Paul or any of these people whenever I was on YouTube. I mean, I spent my time on uh, Queen Ballinger lore, for better or for worse. Maybe I should have been invested in this drama. Um, Would have saved myself a little bit of trauma. But anyway, uh, from my knowledge, Jake and Alyssa dated, and then Logan slapped with and started dating Alyssa. Is that correct? Uh-oh. Look around, everybody on mute. She failed. Whole life was don't show emotions, don't show emotions. I think that got to him. They didn't hate, they were just yes. hooking up. Okay. That's the main focal point with everything surrounding, like, you know, Jake Paul and Logan. Is yeah. the thing with Alyssa Wyman. That's think... what sparked this whole goddamn thing, really. Yeah, I mean, maybe this will be the fucking finale. Maybe this is the Oh, it's not the fucking finale. We have a 48 minute long video to watch, and then we have an hour 45 to watch. Can we just not watch the finale? Are you fucking kidding me? These videos, 40 minutes, 45, 40, 50, 47, 38. This one's 48. Why the fuck is there a two-hour special at the end? Why is there a two-hour special? What more to be said? What do you mean? I can't watch that. <laughs> this is like actually upsetting <laughs> I shouldn't have chose this series Okay so anyway Jake and Logan are fighting because Jake dated Alyssa And then Logan stole Alyssa Okay I'm up to speed We fucking talk about everything and then say And it's fucking over moving on Everything's in the past and just, I know? feel like based on everything I know I feel like you know Jake was insecure He's a control freak He had 100% control over Alyssa But then when she left did that with Logan. It just, he lost all control and he was just completely destroyed. Yeah. I think he's at a point where he's just, I don't know. I think he needs this. Because he, the person I saw yesterday, there was no fake character. There was no nothing. It was just like, whoa. You know? Uh, it was like, whoa. That, Look know, around, everybody on mute. Together, and being the character for so long, a breaking point is definitely uh, in the work. I Do you? Think. Her, uh, well, uh, well, wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see where this is going to go. As someone who's been reporting on Jake Paul for, for a long time, you know, I have this weird, like, appreciation for Jake because he's such a fuck up. He's made. Oh, Keem, that is not a good video. Are you in line for Jake Paul? I've been reporting on Jake Paul for, for a long time. You know, I have this weird, like, appreciation for Jake because he's such a fuck up. He's made so much goddamn content. <laughs> you know, like, I have this weird appreciation for him. I'm always going to be myself, and that's what I think every kid should do in America. But I also, like, you know, think he's a horrible piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the that's the struggle. All right, well, I'm happy you're on this journey with You me. know what? Hey, Keem you know? gave us more entertainment in seven minutes than what we've had for what? Two, three, four, five. Let's say like five hours probably of content we've watched already. Seven minutes, Keem has given us more, more entertainment. And you know what? You know what, Creamstar? I will give you something. Thank you. 
Thank you. You kept my attention for all those seven minutes. Sorry, it was so loud. For all those seven minutes, whereas the past five hours, I cannot recall a single, single... Without you, so I'm happy that you're a part of this. <laughs> I'm wishing you the best of luck, Shane. All right, man. I'm wishing you the best of luck, Shane. That's so funny. I actually feel better now after talking to Keemstar. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? Wow. All right. I feel better now talking about everything. Let's fucking talk about everything. Yeah. You know? One month? Hey, Shane. So I just got a text, and I think it would be good for me to kind of just tell my side story. Um, One month lot, later? Me and calling me a whore and calling me all these names, but they have no idea like what really went on back then. She's so pretty. Um, super, super scared, and I've always been scared, but if you think I should- The like royalty-free music in the background while she's retelling trauma is crazy. Whoa, that's so loud. The Clout House. What's the Clout House? Oh, the Clout House is Alyssa, um, Faze Banks and the other one? Wait. Hold on. God, this music is awful. I have to turn it down. Hold on. Wait, is that the Roosevelt? The Hollywood Roosevelt? Is that the Hollywood Roosevelt? If so, that's the first ever hotel I stayed in in LA. I have so many good memories there. I love there. It is Alyssa Fazebanks, Rice Gum, and Summer Ray. Yikes. Okay. Oh my god, little puppy. Oh. Okay, I'm on their side. They have Frenchies. I'm on their side. That is so cute, Bonnie. They have one of you. The big cloud bear. What? Wait, I'm kind of. Maybe I'm on Team Clyde House. They have a Frenchie. <laughs> this is um, the biggest house you've ever seen. Who is Summer? How much you me? She said she had to shit, so she made a shit. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. All right. Whoa. There's a sign that says. Please be aware that by entering this area, you consent to being photographed, filmed, or recorded. Cloudy. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. Hi! Oh my god. Oh, so awkward. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Andrew. Hi, how are you doing? Not the Jill. Oh my god. Hi! Hi. Wait, this is so she couldn't have put the damn Jill in her pocket. <laughs> She couldn't have put that damn jewel in her pocket. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my this is the first floor. There's like four floors. Ah. Whoa. It's crazy. This is like the other place we were at for Nick, but like on crack. <laughs> this is huge. It's really great. This is a theater. <laughs> this is a deja vu. Yeah, it's like a deja vu. Okay, I'm trying to figure out which house I prefer. Where do we go? Okay, you show me. Okay, so we have a few. Shit. I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah, we get it. Whoa! Call like you. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is the same video. <laughs> like, She's standing there, you're standing there. <laughs> Wait. Hi. Hi. I'm so scared. Don't be scared. I'm fine. It's gonna be fine. I am so emotionally exhausted from this whole situation that, like, I'll probably be the one that dies first. You know what I mean? Yeah, you'll be fine. I'm just over it. Check Check hey, hey, hey. Wait, so this is what floor is this? This is a floor. Whoa. I'm dealing with the situation here. <laughs> Bonnie nearly fell off the bed. What's wrong with Dolly? You're saying Dolly just wants to play. Yeah, but like, why isn't she tired? We had such a long day out today. You'll see it in my vlog. She was like falling asleep on the beach because she was too tired. Interesting. <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> 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 
like room and stuff, and then third floor is gym and club, and then it's club. Kitchen. Right. <laughs> I think I prefer the Clyde heist. That countertop? You're not gonna comment on this countertop? <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> Do you guys cook? Um, if you have us do, I don't know how to cook. Yeah, either. <laughs> Thanks, dad stuff there. Girl, put that jewel away. No, that's fine. This house is really beautiful. Uh, our backyard front? Where is it? This is yard. This is definitely way nicer than... She's 22. This is definitely way nicer than the hype house. Overwhelming. I grew up in Ohio in like a small town, like... Nothing. Yeah. But like, it's my life now. Are you used to this? No. Alyssa, what's up? What I literally thought, like, I saw you following me for the past 10 minutes. The Jill in her hand there, too. Oh, that never leaves her side. Okay, well, don't be scared. But now it's like, we used to live in the house two down, but we still had a, that's like the base house. And then this is like the cloud house. So I'm used to like a bigger, I don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know. Got it. No, same. Yeah, I have my, you know. <laughs> Hey, if we're gonna start barking and biting each other, we're we're not gonna be in here anymore. Bonnie, see, Bonnie's now starting to get annoyed that she wants to play and she's like biting her. I might have to put you in the living room if you're gonna play like that. This is sleepy time. What the fuck? Bonnie, do not bite her. She's just having fun. Don't bite her. Don't bite her. Dolly squealed because Bonnie bit her. Don't bite her. That's rude. And you, stop pissing her off. <laughs> <laughs> I have my places too. This teddy bear reminds me of the We Can't Stop music video by Miley. <laughs> I don't even know how to film this. <laughs> what do you do with this? It's just there. Same. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, let's, uh, let's cut the camera off for a second and then we can set up our little interview moment. This is so weird that Shane instructed him to like do that so many times. I'm whenever I tell you to stop recording, don't stop recording so we can get authentic moments. That's so fucking weird. No. Yeah. Um, okay. So I was asking you to go pee, like, oh, where's the bathroom? And um, she informed me that there's three. <laughs> there's there's a there's fucking urine. Well, Alyssa, this doesn't. This feels like a like a Target or like a restaurant. This isn't like a house. This is crazy. Wow, fun. <laughs> mm, I'm not loving that. I'm not loving that. I'm not loving the fact that they have like hotel esque restaurant esque like urinals as their bathrooms. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Whatever happened to bedrooms or bathrooms? Yes. Whoa. Oh wait. What? Like, weird things. Like, ooh, how much picture I am, and you know, but like, I don't even like pay for this. Like, it's like our company. Okay, wait, Facebook sells. Investor, and all that. Oh, what the fuck do I get? <laughs> you have a gym? Yes, I have a gym. This is a club. Okay, so you weren't kidding, so you. Clyde Gang Club. Is it a DJ stand? Yeah. <laughs> uh, DJ, you have this. Oh my god. How many YouTubers have. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> like 10 Pretty big. What are those doors going to? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out together. Mom? Great call. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Ew, wait, I didn't even know about it. It's this. all the former team time. Oh my god. They're all hated. It's Neil and Tessa. But Tessa, are the twins back there? <laughs> what is it? Wait. What the fuck? It's like the grind outside. Like it's like built into the like falling mountain off the hill. That's scary. It's like how much all these houses are falling off a hill. Do you have a song? I have the one song. Which one? Uh, I don't want to listen to any of these songs. Let's oh. <laughs> <Tell> <laughs> guys. Look around everybody on mute. I don't know. <laughs> It's a beautiful house. <laughs> I, I gotta go. I'm gonna borrow some water for you. How are you feeling? Nervous. Does that look okay? Are you feeling? Yeah. Okay. The reason I want to change in energy is you are somebody who was really in it, and you also have said to me that you don't want to hold back and you just want to like 
talk about all this stuff and then move on. Um, She's really pretty. I told Jake we were doing this. And Erica and everybody else. Uh oh. No, I know they're just like. Alyssa and I are having problems. She says she's gonna like try and ruin my life. So yeah, I mean, does that sound pretty accurate, guys? All right. Yes. I don't know. I just want to tell my side. I don't really care like what people have to say or like what Jake or Erica are like. What they have to say. I just like I want this to be like my final, just like thing to. Yeah, the sad music. We're in a sad vibe. Uh, Alyssa, what do you think about Jake putting you in the header for his new diss uh, song? Yeah. Is that why you said yes to this? Because you said no to doing this for, I think, like a month. Yeah. Like, you were like, nah, no thanks. Like, I'm good. Yeah. Do you have a reaction to that? Or any I don't know who that is. You, you don't know who that is? No. I think after just, like, the Jake and Logan thing kind of, like, came up and, like, hit the fan, people have the wrong impression of me. Anyway, the whole thing sounds really messy. I just want to, like... Uh, Newsfeed. Remember when Rylan used to make those videos? Well, do you want to start? You know, before we start with that... <laughs> I feel my heart right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the second I told you, I'm like, I can't. I, yeah, because I feel like you have tried to cancel this so much. Mm -hmm. What makes you nervous about it? Just having my truth finally be out there and like what really happened and just what I actually went through and not what I put out on my video and like what my mindset was back then and like the choices that I made, like what actually went on in my head. I have to say, she's saving this series for me. I'm actually interested. I'm actually interested. It has taken introducing Alyssa Violet for me finally to have some sort of interest in this seven episodes in. How did you join Team 10? How did you meet Jake? I'm on her side. Above anything else, I'm just on her side now. All of this really go down. Were you? Did he find you and like cast you? Because that was a big thing everybody was talking about. Yeah, so no. I was never casted. Um, I'm just going to start with like how I met them. Mm -hmm. My voice sounds shaky, I'm sorry. Um, I met them in Ohio and had like a little thing with Jake for a while. So Alyssa and I know each other because we're both from Ohio. We've been friends hey, for like two, what, you just said that, yo! And then that was like a few days before we moved to LA and then, sorry, I'm like really weird. It's okay. Second like on camera, like we're freaking out. It's okay. So I met Jake and met Logan, met the whole family, went to like Christmas with them, all of that. And then um, they moved to LA and I was just texting Jake nonstop. He's like, oh, well, I know you want to be a model. Like, I can help you with modeling. Like, how about you come out to LA? I can, like, just help you with that. Maybe send you to an agency and just, you know, like, I'll take a percentage of you and you just help me in videos. And I can okay. It feels like a very wholesome, you know, start of their relationship, right? And something that was actually very real because it started before they were both in LA. But I feel like Jake trying to use her wanting to model and be like if you fly out i'll get you so much job but i'm gonna take a percentage of you then it's like okay well that's not a relationship and it's like it's now being ruined so be like your thumb or you can be my videos was like my thumbnail and all that stuff and then i was like oh yeah like that works <laughs> okay <laughs> just stuff like that like when vine was popping he was like yeah you could i'll put you into my vines and then you'll get like a little bit of a following and you can like use it for modeling and all that stuff and then so i did and you guys weren't dating? No. We never officially dated. Ever. Yeah. Which there's so, like, so many things up there like, oh, Jake Paul's ex-girlfriend, and like, I'm always known as the ex, but... Yeah, never. literally, I'm probably gonna call this, like, the ex-girlfriend. And it's not real. No. Wait, what? The fact he called this the ex-girlfriend of Jake Paul after her saying that they never dated. <laughs> and he was like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've called a video that. Yeah, the one that you're about to upload. I have, what do you mean? Okay, okay, wait. Because I heard... There's, I've heard so many things that I'm confused at this point. Maybe Jake did say this, and I don't remember, because that was a month ago. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't think anybody's really said anything the same, so I think you probably heard it three different ways. So he kind of wanted a YouTube girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just for thumbnails, though. And like, for five seconds, and like a video. So how long did that go on for? Well, it started like when he noticed his videos did better with me in the thumbnail. And then he started like- Lick my body challenge? Like a year and a half, two years. He started like Jalissa. Not the merch. So, okay, so you weren't really official. No. Then what was it? It was just hooking up and like, I chased him for so long. I wanted him to be like my boyfriend. So, quick update. I'm in the bathroom right now. Jake is outside. He still has no idea. They're setting up right now at the house. I'm trying so hard not to like say it. I'm just so excited. Like he's smiling. He's like, why are you so happy? <laughs> he has no idea. And I was just so confused. I would confront him every day being like, what are we? Like, I need to know. This hurts so bad. Like, when he leaves this meeting, he's gonna go home and we're gonna surprise him. Ah! 
like, oh, put me through so much shit I need to know what we are. And he was always just brushing it off, being like, oh, I don't know what we are. Like, we'll figure it out, da da da. Like, I have to go to an audition, I have to go film. Like, we never really established what we were. So, Nick just texted me, I'm shaking right now. They're like five minutes away, they're about to be here. Jake, if you're watching this, I hope we surprise you. <laughs> Not Nick Compton in the background. But we were together, but we were. Thank you for coming this up. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm, I'm old. Happy? I feel old now, though. Everyone's celebrating how old I am. If that doesn't make sense. Okay. Okay, so basically, she had feelings for him and he used her for Clyde. Yeah, I'm on her side. I'm on her side. I'm on her side. Talk about team time? Yeah. Okay, so originally I signed a contract with Maverick Media and Ten Digit Media. Maverick Media was Logan Paul, Ten Digit Media was Jake Paul. And that was like June 2015. So you signed a contract with Logan? With Logan and Jake. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Just basically- It's so weird because then it turns into like, like she is a client of them. You know what I mean? Like, uh Come up, me being in their videos, and then- She them moved to LA for them. Like, Modeling and connecting me with their like people that they know for modeling or acting or whatever. You being in his and Logan's videos too, Logan as James was just hot girl. I don't know. Got it. When you were doing all those videos with Logan, that were like, oh, I stole your girl and all that stuff. Was that was not real? That was just like me and Logan. like he just needed clickbait or he just needed like a. I'm gonna use you for clickbait. No. 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 And I got an idea. I'm gonna steal you from Jake. Oh. <laughs> Because, like, he makes it think, like, you guys are, like, dating, and you guys are, like... This is so weird. It's, like, weaponizing her face and her body for attention. Very fucking weird. And, like, them having this huge pyre of money over her. Mm, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on her side. For 10 minutes, like, just as a joke. And that was kind of, like, a part of the deal. Like, the contract. Well, so that was for a five-year contract. I signed it in 2015, and then... Five-year like, contract? year went on. Logan, like, called me, and he was like, hey, like, I'm just... I don't really... Thank you, Russell. ...percentage of you, like... Or I'm, I'm like, you can leave the contract. Like, I just don't want to take a percentage of you. It just doesn't feel right. And I thought that was dope. I was like, oh, shit. Like, someone realizes, like, I'm not a... Whatever. Interesting. Yeah, he was really nice about the whole thing. But... That's um, one nice thing. Mm -hmm heard about Logan in the last two months. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah. Um, Interesting. What about Tessa? There is a lot of videos of him like kind of treating her like shit. Was that real? And was he kind of shitty with people in Teen Ten? Um, yeah. He was just like, he was just like the boss, the father, like the, he treated not only me like shit, it was kind of like, oh, well Jake's home from filming Disney, like time to film, let's go, everyone drop what they're doing, like cancel your meetings, like stuff like that. So, your video you uh, talked about some like abuse and that was a big thing right it was you know talking about jake hurting you off camera and like being abusive to you so she said that jake threw her down the stairs right this is the tone of the video but then when i was digging into it you know that was a year ago so when i was digging into it more recently i don't know 100 percent if that's real or what really happened. Yeah. Alyssa, Violet, and Jake broke up because there was some a lot of abuse and shit like that. Alyssa started- Listen, we gotta clarify that because it's a huge word. I wasn't like abused every night when he came home from work. It was never like physical abuse. It was, there was some things like if we filmed a video and he had to push me into a bush, normally you would just like nudge someone or pretend to push someone, like just act like you pushed harder, but he would actually like shove me. And like I showed in my videos, I still have like, there's like these two little dots here and like there's scratches, like it's just stuff like that where just, he would just do it way too hard. Ow, ow! Yo, you guys wanna die? And it was like, everyone would kind of be like, whoa, like, don't do that. And then one time we got into a fight, he broke my brand new phone, and then I took his phone to try to break it, ran upstairs, he dragged me down the steps, and that's true. Was that in a video or in no. that? I mean, all of this is things that he has literally documented doing as well, though. He was very aggressive with her on camera, and... It's not even fully believing her. It's like, we have literally seen him do that. And like, Niels was there, Alex was there, and like, if one asks them about that, like, that's true. It's just like, it's stuff like that. I was never, and I want to clear the air because he's not like a um, physical abuser, like he's not an abuser, but it's mentally and emotionally 100%. Every day, 2,000 times a day, I can't even remember a conversation where it was like me walking away, like feeling good. That's a good point. Sh it said Shane heard all this and then decided to make the redemption arc of Jake Paul. Not even if he decided to make the redemption arc. Like, why have you... If he's already gone on Keemstar and FaZe Bank's podcast where they say that Jake is abusive, why is Shane already done six episodes 
basically talking about how much of a nice guy he is, knowing that this is what he's done. And on episode seven, we're now talking about him being abusive. You know what I mean? The entire, until now, the only person that we had met was Jake and Erica, who has also left him. But, I mean, I don't, I don't know why you would, even if he went from the sociopath angle, why you would continue to platform someone. He was trying to say he's misunderstood. Yeah, like, I don't know why you would ride so hard for someone like that. It doesn't really make sense. And why you're feeling the need to have to do an entire episode dedicated to abuse and then an entire episode dedicated to drama and then an entire episode, just don't do it. It was always like, I've always looked out to be crazy or I always looked out to be like, I don't know. I mean, listen, I'm glad you're saying he's not like a physical abuser because that is like a huge scary thing that like is like bad, right? Yeah. But the... What was that? I always looked out to be crazy or I always looked out to be like, I don't know. I mean, listen, I'm glad you're saying he's not, like, a physical abuser, because that is, like, a huge, scary thing that, like, is, like, bad, right? Yeah. What? She literally just said that he would be incredibly rough with her during these things and would be physical with her, and Shane goes, okay, well, at least he's not, like, physically abusive with you. Okay, great conversation, Shane. Really good job. But the mental manipulation and emotional manipulation thing, like, that still can kind of pair of herself. Holy shit, she just opened up about physically being abused, and Shane went, okay, now that we know that you weren't physically abused, maybe you were emotionally abused. The night before, I'd be like, hey, by the way, I'm gonna, like, pretend to wake you up tomorrow with, like, a leaf blower, or whatever it is. For me, he would let me know for a bunch of pranks before it happened, but, like, a bunch of pranks, he wanted to see my, like, real, genuine reaction of, like, a lot of the pranks were real. Like, when he threw you in the pool, that was, that was the Yeah, and I had, I had to get ready that day. I had, like, a charity party that I wanted to, like, go to and, like, dress up and do my makeup, and I was, like... I'm being serious, don't! Jake! It was in my vlog. I was pissed. Well, Jake randomly decided to throw me in the pool. Not to take a shower and get ready, and that's gonna take even longer, so it's just up to me. <laughs> Not mad, though. <sighs> and that's why I'm so annoyed in all these videos, because I don't know what's going on behind the scene. I don't know if we're together, and I try to talk to him about it, and then he's like, he brushes it off, but two minutes later, he's like, hey, I need you for a video. And then I always look so annoyed in all the videos, because I just, I don't know what we were ever. Oh, Erica. What's a, yeah, what's the situation? Because she, to me, was like, let Alyssa say whatever she wants. Like, she should. Yeah. She was like Jake's assistant for so long. So you think that uh, Erica is like a cheap Walmart impression of you? Who? Erica. You oh, made Jake's a joke? assistant? Jake's assistant. Yeah. <laughs> she, obviously being his assistant, she was living in the house. Or she's like, she, was, she just slowly became my best friend. Like, actually best friend. I was literally crying on her. So what, then Erica stole Jake? So then, right when I got kicked out, everyone kind of turned like a blind eye to me. But whose side are we gonna take? Alyssa or Jake? Obviously Jake's. And it was because like he's the daddy or he's the boss or whatever. And then after I left, I think she kind of just like replaced me. I tried Oof. so long to change him, to make him a better person. It's just but didn't Shane spend six episodes so far? And by the way, all of these episodes would be filmed in advance. Didn't Shane spend six episodes talking about how Erica is the best thing to happen to Jake and the best thing to happen to the entire world? wanted to change he never I, don't, I just don't i try i think there's a responsibility when you've platformed almost five hours over five hours of content so far talking about how incredible jake is and how incredible erica is and then by the last second to last episode we're maybe thinking that he's maybe not a good person for so long no Alyssa and i are not dating uh everyone asks me that every single day we're literally best friends we've known each other for like so long now you guys think we should date and whatnot um and like we flirt, yeah, we flirt. I mean, it happens, okay? I mean, I think she's awesome. Um, it's just not like that. It's, it's just not like that, bro. You know? Jalissa isn't real. It's, it's just something, we, we joke around about it a lot. But Alyssa, if you're watching this, I still love you. I love you a lot. Very weird. You're thinking so, your I did for a long time. Not Shane asking Alyssa, do you think he's a sociopath? Yeah. Hello? Can you imagine how annoyed Alyssa would be whenever she did this interview after, like, ages of not wanting to do it, and then finding out that Shane has already done six episodes about how Erica and Jake are the best? I think someone sleeps in here, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a studio. <laughs> <laughs> the music was so unnecessary. Wow, this is like a, yeah, like a hotel. And there's two rooms in here and in the bathroom. Right? Like their numbers. Is every single series he does really bad? Like really badly done? Like this is really badly done and not sensitive. 
Wait, what is this? Can somebody stop with the dramatic yes, effects, please? Somebody's trying to pass it off. This is gonna be like my office. Yeah, office vibes. Frosty place in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa. What? Hey, wanna live here? <laughs> Just how do you wanna move or do you wanna live in like a normal like, house? What is this? A bad chain, a bad. Like We're yeah. building a company and like But eventually you're like, yeah, oh, I could never live in a house like this. Ever. Like when I have a family and stuff, now I'm gonna have to keep like on a home. So thank you. I feel like every rich person says that when they live in like a multi million dollar mansion. Hey, get back up on the bed. I feel like every rich person says that. Hey, up, 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 up. Thank you, sweetie. Um, I feel like every rich person says that when they're in the biggest mansion ever. Uh, all I want is like a little small cottage home. No, you don't. Yeah, fascinating. Um, all right. Where should we sit? Just like oh yeah. Do you want me to do that shot? Oh my god. Are you okay? He is pissing me off so fucking much with these sound effects. You have no fucking idea. There's a oh. oh, there was no thing. What the fuck? I don't think there was a box spring. <laughs> well, you know what? We'll just oh. let's just leave. <laughs> this came with the house. We didn't buy this. Let's just leave her there. Oh my god, this looks like such a trap house. Is she it? using that jewel or is she just holding it? So I'm like really interested. It hasn't left her hand once, but we haven't seen her use it. It's not. <laughs> it's like a college, like for I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> I thought you meant like a whorehouse, like a trap house. No, no, that's a brothel. <laughs> Ooh, are they like quarter set to ten? Are they like prostitutes? Yeah. Really? No. Oh, why are you so? <laughs> are you really? That is so weird. Were there whores and prostitutes at Team Ten? Shane says with a smile on his face. Oh, what? <laughs> no, I'm just not good on camera. Oh, I'm not good. Shaky and I blurt out things. What's like the gist? Like, what do you think you want people to get out of this? This double standards thing. <laughs> like, it's not okay to slut shame women and not slut shame men, and it's 2018. And like, it's okay if you're in an abusive, mentally abusive, emotionally, or even physically like abusive relationship. It's okay to tell someone and like get past it. Because yeah. I got past it. Yeah. When you left, what was the backlash like with the fans? Terrible. So, the first reason I hate Alyssa Violet is, well, because she cheated on Jake Paul with, well, we all guessed it, his brother Logan. Jake lied and said that I cheated, which I never cheated. We were never together, and it was just bad. Your face is so ugly, Alyssa. Lovely, you need to keep searching everywhere. A lot of people are gonna be like, oh, she's, you know, maybe she's uh, just trying to make herself look good, or oh, maybe she's just trying to make Jake look bad, or oh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, you already owned up to the abuse, you know, that that was a little exaggerated. Yeah. Is there anything else like that that you could be like, what? Did Shane just say you already admitted that the abuse was a little bit exaggerated? What the fuck? He just said to her, you've already admitted that your abuse was a little bit exaggerated. Holy shit. You know what? I fucked up in the relationship too. Or I I was also fucking with his head sometimes too. Or messing up things too. Just to... Yeah. I never like She's saying to or he's saying to her that well you were the one fucking with him. After she literally just talked about power dynamics within like um how people look at women versus men. His head for a long time. He just kept you know like Shane Dawson, you're an evil, evil man. Every single day, every single conversation, and I just I finally had enough. Um should I get into the now? Yeah. Um and then one weekend so he bad going to like this lodge or something he's gonna go snowboarding with his friends and i was like oh i'm gonna go because like i was part of the group i thought it was normal and he was like oh no you, you need to like stay here and i there was no one else everyone in the house was going with them and then i was like well why can't i go he was like oh well there's this girl going and i really want to have sex with her and i just don't want you to like in the way of that or whatever wait jake said that to her god this is so fucking weird Jake said to her, there's this girl I want to sleep with, so I know- What the fuck is wrong? Oh, Jesus Christ. He's like, I can't just go and, like, have fun and sit on the couch, like, everyone's leaving town. And then he's like, no, like, you're not allowed to go. So he went, found my friend, left me, and then I was so pissed off. I was so fed up. I was so hurt. I was so disgusted. I just was Wouldn't she also have been, like, 19 or something during this time? She was young as well. And then- I mean, so was Jake and stuff, but, like- and then we all went to a club, like a bunch of our friends together, and then me and Logan hooked up. And I don't even feel comfortable saying that out loud. Like it's 
I'm still disgusted by it because it's not who I am. I'm like shaking. And it's not who I ever wanted to be, but it happened. But she wasn't dating Jake. So? Why is Shane sitting here with like the most dramatic music in the entire world and not literally saying to her, well, you just detailed how you wanted to be with Jake, but you weren't with Jake and he was abusive towards you. Why isn't Shane saying that to her? Because he's not a good interviewer. Listen, I... Oh, maybe. Come on, Shane. Come on, Shane. And I don't know, I mean, there's so many sides to every story, right? But to me, it kind of makes sense. Oh. Even just hearing you say that, Come on. like, I always found that you can do it, Shane. scary and crazy and gross because it was Logan and like Shane find that story scary, crazy and dark. Shane, why are you caring about 20 year olds hooking up with each other? You, in my head, I didn't villainize you really because I was like, oh, it's this broken girl in a toxic relationship and she's like manipulative to match other people's manipulation. Him calling her a broken girl. Whatever. I'm grossed out that, like, Logan was, like, okay with doing it. Because mm -hmm. that's his brother. That was my whole, like, woo. Yeah. But they didn't date. I think that's most people's thoughts on yeah. that. Um, this is so fucking weird. And we were never dating. That's another thing. It's like, everyone was like, you guys, Alyssa cheated. Like, he cheated on her, and then she cheated on it. We were never dating. Yeah, why is no one else focusing on that? Fucking girls in front of me. Like, I would hook up with him. Sorry, mom. I don't up with them. I would leave to go to my friend's house for like an hour, two hours. I'd come back and then all of a sudden knock on his door like, hey, like, and then open up, there'd be a girl in there. And they'd literally be fucking right after we hooked up. And that happened not once, not twice, not three times, like so many times I've lost count. It was Instagram models that he'd come over and be like, hey, like we're scouting right now for team time. How about you come over? We'll see if you're a fit. They come over, he fucks them, they leave. And like, they're never a part of team time. It was like he used team time to kind of like have girls over. And I never knew like what I was with him. It was always like on the edge. Um, I was always wondering, can we talk about that? This is a date. That this helicopter thing is a date. It's a date. It's not a date. date. And I should have left. I really like should have left so many times. And I packed my bags and I was, I have a meeting. But he literally had so much power over her. Sorry, You're not allowed to leave. And I was just like, oh. And I couldn't even afford to leave. Yes, he had every player over her. She moved to LA for him. The checks went through Team 10 first. They would keep it. They'd send me like a couple thousand dollars when it was like 20,000. And I'm like, oh, well, where's the rest of my money? Like, I'd like to get a car, get my own apartment. I'd like to move away. And they're like, oh, you can't manage your money properly. So we're going to like hold on to it for you and we'll like dispense it to you. They kept so much money for me when I left and, it, and I was a bitch to get back. What did Logan say? I'm so like, and you don't have to get into detail because this is like too, a little too personal, but like when you were like, hey, let's hang out or whatever. Like, was there any ounce of like, um, uh, well, it's my brother. No. It was, I mean, me and Logan were like... But were they or were they not dating? Alyssa is literally describing being abused right now. And I don't know why people aren't focusing on that. What the fuck? Really, why is no one focusing on this? Why is Shane just being told that Jake literally would manipulate girls basically into having sex and hasn't even focused on that once? Um, I don't even know what to say. Close. We live together. We all live together. And, like, we kind of, like, established that friendship. Like, close, close friends. And then we just we went to a club like we normally would do and just hung out and then drank. And it was just a bad decision on both of our parts. Why is this so focused on her and Logan? She literally just told you Jake Paul being abusive and you are ignoring it. Holy shit! What the fuck? This is really, really, really weird. I hope we're all aware of that. This is really, really, really weird. He is, yeah, he's not listening because he's already done six episodes with Jake, so we can't focus on it too much because then it will go against the full narrative of his six episodes so far. We texted after and we were like, I was like, Ever, like tell Jake I don't ever want this to get out like it was so stupid and he was like listen like I'm a savage I'm a maverick oh fuck but why is he focusing so much on Logan and I hope people are picking up on this right Shane since the start of this has been villainizing Logan and the reason I think that is in my opinion 
it's possible that Shane wanted to do a series on both Jake and Logan, and Logan didn't want to do it, so now Logan is being villainized. Because since the start, it's been, you know, Jake is great and Logan's the more successful brother. And here we're seeing him focus so much on Logan rather than being told about Jake. Fuck. I just think, I just feel like I was like a pawn in like their game. Like they're always trying to one up each other, always. Like, so like I was just like a goal. Like I was just used the whole time in Team 10 and videos and Logan's videos and everyone's, I was just like, I don't know, it was like they're playing a game and they're like the chess masters or whatever and I was just... Let me guess, he's only gonna focus on Logan. A little pawn. Like it's, it's... It's not even me doing that, it's like... I think they just have this brotherly thing going on that's got taken too far. Yeah. Ugh, hate these songs. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah. Um. Does he have no response to all what she's just told him? She has. N he has no response to what she has just opened up about. But instead, we've got this sad ass music in the background. Not even the sad ass music. This investigative, like creepy music. It's so weird talking about this stuff. But I also like, like you said, like because now. It, it I feel weird talking about this stuff. He says this girl just opened up about uh, being abused, and you're saying you feel bad. Am I talking about this? In the videos and, you know, Nick was talking about it, Jake talks about it in the next video, like, to me, I was like, I don't feel right unless you talk about it. Yeah. So thank you for, like, doing this. But also, I don't think you should be afraid of being called a whore or, like, the slut shamed or anything. Jake will admit that. It's a toxic environment. It was a toxic situation. He was I don't think you should be ashamed of being called a whore or afraid, he said. Did he say afraid or ashamed? Either one is really fucking weird. It was a toxic situation. He was, I don't think you should be afraid of being called a whore. I don't think you should be afraid of being called a whore, he says, right after she opens up about her abuse. What does that mean? Like slut shamed or anything. Jake will admit that. It's a toxic environment. It was a toxic situation. He was not great with you. He says that in the next video. Like, it was bad. He says that. But she just opened up about some things that you don't care about. Situation for everybody and like... Yeah, it's just, I'm sick of running away from the shit, as you know. I'm texting back and forth, I'm like, can you cancel, can we change, can we move it, can... I'm just, I... This is just my way of like, I'm done, I will never talk about this again. I'm just, I'm sick of running away and like... I was so worried about people calling me a whore and calling me all these names, but like, I know I'm But, not. but Shane told you not to be afraid of that. Like, I've only had intimate relations with like... Oh, the sad music's back. Like, I know I'm not a slut, so it's like, why should I care what other people think? Well, Shane told you not to be afraid, babe. Like, I was just thinking, it's, it's just, I don't even, oh, it's just a different person. You know, I don't know how this all happened. I was definitely not planning on all of this happening. Yeah. Yeah. Getting involved in everybody's lives and shit, but... Invasive. It's good for everybody, so that everyone can move on. Yeah, I've been trying and everyone can move on and Shane can make eight videos about this in which he probably made literally no joke just not even sponsorships hundreds of thousands of dollars possibly even millions of dollars on this YouTube series for so long yeah honestly I would say mil I would say millions of views or millions of dollars he made on this literally never have to talk about this shit ever again yeah so just the distracts were like it was just a fun thing to do in the summer and like no one knew it was like real beef mm -hmm everything was kind of like a secret back then but i filmed the video with logan and that blew up and it was just it was a fun experience just being a part of it i can't believe people cared enough about them we were done filming the music video we went back to logan's I ran into greg paul to talk about my video and i was just like oh hey like trying to be nice how are you and he was like you're such a whore you're a slut like if you were a dude i would have beat the fuck out of you a long time ago like you're disgusting and like basically threatening to beat my ass and he kept getting in my face and logan just sat there and like laughed and then I went downstairs in my car, cried and cried and cried. I was like crying and I called Logan. I was like, hey, is this a good, a good idea that I'm like on this diss track with you? Like, I don't want to step on anyone's toes. I don't want to hurt Jake. So it's just like, why is Shane not focusing enough on the fact that Shane or that Jake and Logan were abusing this girl? Like, no, no, I don't have time. I don't have time. Like, I have to edit this. I have to post this. And listen, Alyssa, like, I already have like your approval being this video. Like, I don't care about what you say now if you don't want to be in it. Like, 
I have you on camera saying that you're excited, so you can't like legally do anything to me. Like I'm gonna progress no matter what you say. So I'm gonna post this and like no matter what you have to say. And I was, that was kind of the moment where I was like, okay, we're good. Like, I just didn't really feel them after that. Literally. Okay, Shane made a fucking joke there. She goes, I just literally didn't fuck with him after that. Or she goes, I didn't fuck with him after that. And Shane goes, hm, literally. That's your response? That's your response? Hm, literally. You made a fucking joke? God, this man is the worst. He overly made it like you not look bad like he was very clear to overly why does this have only 14,000 dislikes I deserved it, I deserved it. but i genuinely it felt genuine that he was like actually hurt yeah like oh my god so now we're being told that but jake is the victim babe jake feels really sad that he hurt you jake feels really sad that he hurt you he was like well, it was just really sad it was the first time i saw him like i was like oh like oh Cares. I got somewhere. Yeah, I was like, oh, like, his brother hurting him actually did hurt him. Like, take you out of the equation and take all the craziness out. It, like, his yeah. brother hurting him actually did hurt him. It, Shane is putting all of this down to, again, on Logan. It's a real thing. Jake has feelings. They're somewhere in there, right? Yeah. And then it was just, like, we all saw, like, a change yeah. in Jake. Like, a genuine one. Where we're all, like, it was, like, a very, and I was, like, we're spending every day. And it was, like, I felt, like, oh, this is a That took me a lot longer to, for me to forgive him. What did he say? Like, what? I mean, he's not here to defend himself or whatever, and I'm not throwing him under the bus, but I just want to know, like, what... I'm not throwing him under the bus. Like that. Yeah. What this whole experience has shown me is, like, there's so many sides to everything, but also there's, like... I almost feel like everybody's on the same... What this situation has shown me is if there's trauma, I'm going to make a lot of money off of it, especially if it's other people's trauma. Level, kind of, of, like... Just owning up to their shit. Yeah. And just, like, living and moving on. Yeah, because we're that's happened so long ago. They just kept trying with the diss tracks and outdo each other, and just everyone's just exhausted and we're over it, and we don't want to be like faking it anymore. Talking to an alleged abuse victim about how he saw the goodness in her abuser is fucking nuts. Yeah. Make real shit. But Erica and Jake, come on. Move on. Have you felt kind of like, because you said, you know, you don't really post that much or something? You're yeah. like, I don't know, I feel kind of like, is that part of it? Like, you're just still kind of like, kind of have PTSD from the whole situation? Yeah. It's I need to check her Instagram, see what she's up to these days. Literally. And it's like, I just started working out again, I just started vlogging again, and I just started like, slowly getting my feet wet again. Alyssa but Violet. It's, it's just, I feel like I was running away. Mm -hmm. Like I told you. I just feel like, there was always like a cloud over my head. She is so pretty. I felt like I was strong enough to like come out and tell my story, but now I feel like... So pretty. She's yeah. like moving on. Yeah. No, like I'm, it's just... Her Instagram's great. Sorry, I'm distracted. I don't know if I'll be fine, but <laughs> you know, figure it out. What? That's his response to her ending it? He goes, I don't know if I'll be fine because he's interviewing them all? This person just opened up about abuse. But like, there's, if you oh, the happy music. 10, 15, 20 different series. There's so many. That would be like, I hate things. <laughs> <laughs> She said, oh, if you're doing this, like, there's going to be, like, so many people who hate Jake. There's going to be so many episodes. But this entire thing so far has been uh, making Jake the, the, the good guy. Has Jake, has Shane told him, she, hello, has Shane told her that? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whoa. I was like, Whoa. I didn't think she was kidding at all. I know. No, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I know, I feel like Shane goes, where do you want them to go? And she says prison, and Shane just laughs at it. Maybe she wasn't making a fucking joke because she's just opened up about being abused. Like, I mean, not special in like a good way, but like, I don't know how to say it. Like, no, 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 I know I'm confusing. I'm nervous. Everyone's looking at me. Special. <laughs> I know, I know. Like, you can't just do that. Like, my one interaction with him, he was just being like a complete asshole douchebag for no reason. And that was the last time I talked to him. He blocked me after that, so. Wow. It was pretty harsh. I feel like I'm an AA. <laughs> oh, I fi <laughs> Look at this. 
They caught her ass. They caught her ass. Look at her using that Jill. We caught her ass. It was pretty harsh. We caught her ass. Oh, you couldn't even see it. We caught you. No reason. And that was the last time I talked to him. He blocked me after that, so. It was pretty hard. We caught you. Harsh. I feel like I'm in an AA meeting. <laughs> You know, from my experience and seeing like how much of like an act a lot of his the shit he does is like, a lot of it is just reviews. I don't know. You can just feel that it's forced, very forced, and just not real. Yeah, I, I believe. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> These people seem a lot more normal than the <laughs> Team Tan. How am I gonna pick a squad? <laughs> Okay. I have a lot of decisions. I know. <laughs> okay. I'll start doing pros and cons of both games. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Well, thank you for coming. I don't, you're just like, you care about me a lot. I've never had that. That was honestly more awful than any episode we have watched thus far. Like, she was a joy to watch, I'm going to be honest. However, that was very badly done. Like, I think this has been the worst episode thus far for many different reasons. I, I think this was so poorly done. Like, really badly done. We're going to leave it there. We have one more episode to go. And it's an hour and 45. I'm not going to focus on that right now. I'm just going to focus on the fact that we are currently seven out of eight episodes done. We're almost there. Ugh.